This is where we're going to start to cover a couple of things that haven't specifically been covered in lecture so far. If you're not comfortable with the things that are going to be covered, you don't have to use them, but you do have to present a pleasing design. And so instead of using the crate or the box that I have here, you'll want to use the black container or the white bowl because those are the easiest to make the apples or the fruit or whatever you choose look like they're naturally inside the box. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a pleasing composition. So I want to make sure that I have a grouping of apples, but it doesn't look natural if all of the apples face the same way. If we look at the pale red apple here, here, and here, they're all facing the same direction. So one thing you can do is if you click on the apple, it'll redirect you to that layer. You can choose edit and then free transform and you'll get a bounding box that will allow you to scale if you want to scale. So you could hold shift and grab a corner and make them smaller or bigger. And if you hover over a corner, you can rotate the apples. So I'm going to rotate the apples so they don't all look like they're in the same position. You have to hit the return or the enter key after you've done to accept the changes. And then you can come through and you can repeat that edit free transform for the other apples on the page. If you're going to do that, go ahead and do that and then we'll move on to the next video where I'll show you how to get rid of the borders.